been raining the last two days. Um, hanging out at Old Faithful right now just to wait out this little bit of rain. Hopefully it stops and then got 14 more miles today to camp and be out of the park tomorrow. Big old buffalo. This is a pretty interesting geothermal area. Um, it's hailing right now. But uh, it's actually pretty warm here because of all the geothermal heat coming up out of the ground. Yeah, here, here comes the hail. <laughs> Man, weather's been shitty the last few days. You gotta pay attention and stay on trail in these areas. People going off trail have fallen through the crusts of these places and burned themselves really bad and died because these pools are boiling water. And it's starting to come down now. What's making that noise? Oh, it's these giant Huron's cranes. Sounds like dinosaurs. These are pretty big because that grass is over two feet tall. Now I'm in the middle of a bog. Probably wouldn't be so bad except all the rain at the last couple of days. Um, at least the water's not too cold because it's fed by a lot of these hot springs. Jeez. Lake Shoshone to the left. Pretty big lake. This green tunnel reminds me a lot of Maine. This is a pretty wide water crossing. So it doesn't get too deep. This is called Witch Creek. It's uh, really nice water, about 90 degrees. Feels like a nice hot tub. I'm gonna eat my lunch here. Perfect spot for a break. It's 
a porcupine right there checking me out. It's elk rutting season right now. It's elk right down in here. So big. Holy cow. Huge bull right there. Entering the Teton wilderness. That's the Teton Range over there. Beautiful place. Last time on the CDT, we took the Teton uh, route. So instead of following the CDT, kind of southeast through Yellowstone, cut uh, southwest, um, went through the Teton Crest Trail, and then cut down through Jackson into the Grovant Wilderness and reconnected back with the CDT in the Wind River Range. This time taking the official CDT. Um, so this would be new ground, so that's kind of interesting. Um, up at 10,000 feet right now, much nicer day today and yesterday. It's like a week straight of cold rain last week, but it looks like good weather now. Should have good weather for the winds. That'll be important because a lot of that will be at 11, 12,000 feet. And then go through the basin and then I'm in Colorado. Slight grizzly tracks. mess of blowdowns here. It's bald eagle. I got an hour-ish till sunset. Um, let's hope I can get a hitch into town.
Well, I got a ride like four miles down the road. It's getting dark. <laughs> Made it. Got in just as the sun was setting. Guy picked me up and wandered around town trying to find a place that was open because all these little places just closed, but found a room, found some food, so it all worked out. But it was pretty stressful there for a little bit.